The short-term rental market has exploded in North Carolina in recent years. Piedmont Triad is no different, but the city of Greensboro hasn't been able to keep track of how many Airbnbs or Verbos are in its backyard. To try to find out where and how many there are while holding owners more accountable for what renters do, they started working on an ordinance to require them to get a permit. After tonight's vote, that ordinance has some teeth. The city council approved the new short-term rental ordinance unanimously, nine to nothing. Our Cassie Fambro live at City Hall with all about what this entails. Cassie, what's going on? Well, the city looked to other cities for inspiration on how exactly to best craft this ordinance, but ultimately they took a pretty unique approach, really prioritizing how close together short-term rentals can and can't be. Mayor Nancy Vaughn began the meeting by adding a line to the ordinance that new short-term rental properties, or STRs, have to be 750 feet apart. Three football fields is pretty much what it is, um, though I'd like to see it a little bit uh, longer than that, a little bit more than that. Um, I can... I can compromise. Legally, though, there may be no compromise. We've heard from you loud and clear that you want this distance requirement, and we are willing to take that risk by doing the distance requirement, but knowing that that could come back and be claimed as a cap. A cap is a legal no-no, and the city of Wilmington ran into a legal issue trying to institute one on short-term rentals there. We are pushing the envelope on something that um, we're not sure whether it's going to fly or not with the distance rule. The city can't tell someone how many properties they can buy and turn into short-term rentals, but they can take steps to make sure local owners are prioritized over out-of-town companies. The new ordinance does that by mandating the owner lives in Guilford County or an adjacent county or has a local co-host. City officials say the ordinance is not set in stone. This is evolving and this is changing so quickly in the state that I view this as an interim step. In another compromise, there was a minimum of two nights for a guest to stay in a short-term rental, but that was removed. So the next step is trying to figure out the most equitable way to figure out who gets to be 750 feet apart from another person. If your neighbor wants to be an Airbnb and you want to be an Airbnb, who gets to be the Airbnb? So they'll be working on that and we'll certainly update you on how they decide the best course of action will be. Live in Greensboro, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. At least there's some sort of precedent here for them to base these decisions off of. Cassie, thank you.